In this lesson, you will learn to find the volume of three different 3D figures, a cylinder, a cone, and a sphere. Let's start with the cylinder. So remember how to find the volume of a rectangular prism. You need to first find the area of the base, which is length times width, and then find how many times you need to stack that base on top of each other until you reach the top. So the volume equals the area of the base times the height. Now the same formula can be used to find the volume of a cylinder. The only difference is that the base is not a rectangle but a circle. So you are going to need to find the area of a circle and then multiply that base area by the height. Now to find the area of a circle the formula is pi times the radius squared. So the volume of a cylinder would be pi r squared times h. In order to find the volume of this cylinder, we first need to find the base area. We know the radius is 2 inches, so the base area is going to be pi times 2 squared. 2 squared is 4, and we could substitute this back into our volume formula, so we have volume equals 4 pi times h. Our height here is 5 inches, so volume equals 4 pi times 5, which gives us 20 pi. Now, since volume is in three dimensions, length, width, and height, our volume units will always be cubed. So our volume of this cylinder is 20 pi inches cubed. Now, let's look at the volume of a cone. A cone is very similar to a cylinder in that it has a circle for a base. The difference is that a cone comes to a point at the top. The base area continually gets smaller as the height increases, so you can't use the formula volume equals base area times height. So let's see how a cone compares to a cylinder. If you took a cylinder and made a cone out of it, so it has the same height and radius, how many cones could fit inside a cylinder? Now looking at this image here, we can see that if we filled up a cone with sand, and poured it into a cylinder with the same height and radius, you could pour exactly three cones full of sand into the cylinder. So the volume of a cylinder equals the volume of three cones with the same height and radius. You could also say that a volume of a cone is one third the volume of a cylinder. Or in other words, we could replace the volume of a cylinder with the actual formula, which gives us the formula of the volume of a cone, which is one-third pi r squared times h. So let's find the volume of this cone. Here you see that the radius is 3 inches, so the base area is going to be pi times 3 squared, which gives us 9 pi. We can plug this back into our formula over here and substitute 4 inches for the height. So we get the volume as 1 third times 36 pi. And we can multiply that out to get 12 pi. And so the volume of this cone is 12 pi inches cubed. Now let's turn to spheres. First, compare a sphere to a cylinder. If you trap a sphere in a cylinder so that the sphere fits exactly, you can see that the radius of the sphere and the radius of the cylinder's base area are the same. Also, the height of the sphere is then two times the radius. Now, how many spheres fit into a cylinder with the same radius and a height of two times the radius? Now in these pictures below, you can see that if you filled the spheres with sands, it would take three spheres to fill two cylinders. In other words, one sphere would fill two-thirds of a cylinder with those dimensions. So the volume of a sphere is two-thirds the volume of a cylinder that has the same radius r and a height of 2r. We can shorten that to say that a volume of a sphere is two-thirds the volume of a cylinder. And remember, the volume of a cylinder's formula is pi r squared times h. Now to simplify this further, 
we could substitute 2r for h, and we get 2 thirds times 2 pi r cubed. We can multiply out the rational numbers, which gives us the volume of a sphere as 4 thirds times pi r cubed. So find the volume of this sphere. We are given that the radius equals 4 inches. And since the formula for the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds times pi r cubed, we can substitute 4 for r. And we get 4 thirds times pi times 4 cubed. 4 cubed is 64. And when we multiply 64 by 4, we get 256 over 3 pi. So the volume of the sphere is 256 over 3 pi inches cubed. Great job, and we'll see you again.